You know what? Don't or I'll smack you. Don't what? Mom, where are you going? Mom. Go away. Mom. Mom. Oh, hi, YouTube. Today, we make omelets. Now, when you start making omelets, you're going to need your ingredients out. So, uh, we're going to start with some eggs. That's what these are. A bowl. Some cheese. Butter. We have two kinds here. Well, one's margarine, but screw that. Mayonnaise. Assorted meats. Green peppers. And bacon. That is defrosting. Step one. Cracking the egg. You can crack an egg in a variety of ways. Um, you can use a hammer, but I recommend a corner of an object. Just give it a couple taps and wedge your thumb in there and break the shell in half. The next step in making an omelet is whisking. Now, personally, I like to use a fork because four prongs is better than one. And basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dip your fork into the yolks and just keep stirring it around until you get this really disgusting looking consistency. Um, once it looks like you spat into orange juice, uh, that's how you know you're good to go. When you finish whisking the shit out of that, you're going to want to take your giant ass knife and scrape all of your ingredients into the bowl. Okay, so you're going to want to take a spoonful of mayonnaise and you're just going to want to dab that in there nice and good. So you're going to want to mix that shit up like you're an old person, mixes up names, and uh, you're going to want to keep stirring that up until the mayonnaise is completely diluted. Once it looks like swamp water, you're good to go. Once you're done stirring that shit up, you're going to want to crank that knob like Soldier Boy, and then you're going to want to put some butter on the pan once your pan's heated up. Okay, so step 14 is just lathering your frying pan in butter. You're going to want to do this so that your eggs don't get stuck to it, because that's just a really shitty thing to happen. The next step is applying the omelet to the frying pan. Now basically you're going to let your omelet vegetate for a couple minutes until it starts to become solid around the edges. Um, in the meantime, I guess you could sing songs or like call loved ones or something. So next you're going to want to add your cheese onto the omelet right here. Mmm, that looks delicious. So the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, move your spatula under it and gently squeeze around like that. Uh, this is so you can see if the underside is solid. So if it is, you just jam it under there and you flip... Oh, shit. Yeah, I kind of screwed that up. Um, but don't worry, if that happens, it just means your omelet is so awesome that it can't contain itself. Um, if this happens, you just got to like brush it under there or whatever and uh, just squeeze it up to the omelet and it's okay just uh, don't cry don't flip out because you don't want tears and shit on your omelet that might ruin the taste so you're going to want to keep poking the underside to see if it's solid or not um, it shouldn't take long this should only take um, a minute or two once it is solid you're going to want to flip it over and oh fuck okay whatever um, well, you know what they say with omelets, uh, you don't judge an omelet by its cover. Okay, yeah, that was bad. Now you're going to want to add some pepper and salt to it just to make it look like you know what you're doing. Damn, yeah, what's up? Bitch, check out my omelet. 